Hello students. In this video we're going to determine the analytic solution for the predator-prey model. Now this can't be done for all nonlinear systems of ODEs, but um, the predator-prey model actually allows us the opportunity to determine an analytic solution. Um, however, the solution uh, will turn out to be um, implicit. You will not be able to um, solve for y or x explicitly as a function of t. Um, you'll have to leave the equation um, in terms of x and y and functions of x and y. All right. Well, anyhow, the predator-prey model, um, um, if you just focus on the x primed equals um, the parameter a tilde times x, um, that would be exponential growth, but then you have a negative interaction term. So um, this means that um, uh, x has a negative interaction with y. Um, as far as its uh, uh, change goes. And then y, um, would, um, without this interaction term, would have exponential decay, but then um, it would have a positive interaction with x, so uh, with respect to its change. Um, so um, just knowing that, um, if you have a um, negative interact, if x has a negative interaction with y and y has a positive interaction with x, <laughs> then um, we expect x to model the uh, prey and y to model the predator because the predator has a positive interaction with the prey whereas the prey has a negative interaction with the predator. All right, so let's um, start to solve this thing. So um, the prime means um, we have a derivative with respect to t and same thing here. Sometimes you'll see that written as x with a dot over the top or y with a dot over the top. Um, but just to make this explicit here for you, um, I'm just going to write the x prime as dx dt and the y prime as dy dt. So I just rewrote the system here to the right. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to write dy dx um, as dy dt over dx dt. That may look familiar to you from uh, um, when you did um, parametric curves um, and rate of change with respect to parametric curves. So if I do that, I put dy dt, that's the model for the rate of change um, in, uh, for the prey, uh, predators, over the rate of change for the prey. And then um, uh, I see I have a y in common, um, so I factor out the y. And then I have an x in common, so I factor out the x. And this sets the equation up for separation of variables, because in this parentheses, I have... Um, terms uh, involving only x or constant, and here I have an x, and then um, here I have y, and then I have terms involving a constant or only y. So that allows me to then do this maneuver. Um, here's my separation, um, so I'll use separation of variables, and then um, I will uh, leave the minus c plus dx over x on the right hand side, but I'll separate with the dx there. And then similarly, I will take um, y, and now I will um, over a minus by, and uh, we'll flip that over, and we have the separation there, dy. It looks like we're breaking up the differential. That's actually not true, but um, that's how we, we view it formally. Okay, And, um, and now we're ready to integrate, now that we have um, this differential equation set up. And um, that's easy to do. We just um, uh, break up this uh, fraction, and we break up this fraction, and then we just integrate term by term. And uh, you'll see you'll, um, you just integrate this term, you integrate this term, integrate this one, and integrate this one. And then don't forget, um, you'll need a constant of integration here um, at the end of the uh, term there. We can call this um, like big capital C or something like that for the integration constant. Um, all right, I'm going to stop there and leave that as a hint for finding the analytic solution to the um, predator-prey model. But remember, you're not going to be able to solve for x and y explicitly. You're going to have to leave them in terms of um, natural logs and uh, um, other functions. All right, good luck.